Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Meisels and I recently showed you a tour of my Israeli apartment and today I wanted to take you around my apartment and show you specific items that you'll see in every Jewish Orthodox homes. These items will exist in a Jewish Orthodox home living in Israel, in the United States, and all over the world. So let's get started. The first essential item in every Jewish Orthodox home is a mezuzah. We have a mezuzah in the entrance of our home as well as a mezuzah in every room in the house. And the mezuzah contains a parchment inside it which includes our important blessing of Shema Yisrael handwritten. Next we have the talis and tefillin. These are our daily prayer items that men use and talis is a prayer shawl and to fill in are two boxes that have leather straps and in the boxes it contains portions from the Torah and we use both of these during prayer time. When it comes to the Jewish bookshelf, there's a few specific books that every Orthodox family has. The first one is the Bible, our written Torah, and the second and the third are part of the Oral Torah, the Mishnah, and of course, the Talmud. Now, most people have huge sets of the Talmud. I think ours is stored at my in-laws for now. Now, two complementary books found in every home is the Siddur, which is our prayer book that we use every day. So we have a few of those as well as a bencher, which is a booklet that we use to say a prayer on the food. We use this on Shabbat or after eating bread. And of course, over the years, thousands of books have been written, books about Jewish law, Parsha, so we have many of those. And of course, since having kids, we of course have a lot of Torah books for kids about the Parsha and the Bible and lots of different stories. And we start our morning. We'll have a wash cup that we use in the morning to wash our hands and we use it also before bread, which means we also have it in the kitchen. And of course, our Jewish Orthodox kitchen. Now, the most important thing in the Jewish Orthodox kitchen is that we have completely separate dishes for meat and dairy. So here we have our dairy dishes, a full set of dairy, and here we have a full set of meat dishes because we don't mix meat and dairy and including utensils. We have, like you see here, there's meat, parav, besari, which means meat, chalavi, full set of dishes, separate dishes. We only have one sink. In some Jewish Orthodox homes, you'll find two sinks. And here you see we, when we use our microwave, we have two covers that we use. When we want to heat up dairy, we use this cover for dairy. When we want to use meat, we use this cover for meat. And a lot of people have even two microwaves or two ovens, but because we use one microwave, so we have those covers. And here you see my challah for Shabbat. I'm gonna roll it out and make challah dough. That's another thing that every Jewish Orthodox family will have on our festive Friday night meals and Saturday morning meals. You have to have two challah rolls for the meals. It doesn't have to be challah looking like a challah roll. It could be also a basic bun or it could be a pita. The last item in every Jewish Orthodox home is the plata. The plata is something that we use to heat up our food on Shabbat, on the festive meal Friday night and Shabbat morning. It's We set it with a timer that allows us to place our pots and pans over here 
and heat up our food Friday night and Shabbat morning on Saturday morning. And we do this because we're not allowed to use electronics, so we don't use the oven and we don't turn on the microwave. So to heat up our food, we use this plata. So that's the last Jewish Orthodox item. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time.